will start the evening with an invocation by Ms. Purnima. Ajam nirvikalpam nirakaram ekam niranandam anandam advaita poonam Ajam nirvikalpam nirakaram ekam niranandam anandam advaita poonam param nirgunam Nirvisheshaṁ nirīhaṁ Param nirgunam Nirvisheshaṁ nirīhaṁ Parabrahma rūpam Ganeshaṁ bhajimaṁ Jagat kāraṇam kāraṇa jñāna rūpam Surādhim sukādhim Gunesham Ganesham Jagat Karanam Karana Jnana Rupam Suradhim Sukadhim Gunesham Ganesham Jagat Vyapinam Vishwavandyam Suresham Jagat Vyapinam Vishwavandyam Suresham Parabrahma Rupam Ganesham Bhajima Prof. Vatsala Nagarajan, Mr. Nagarajan, Prof. Raghuram, all the former retired faculty who are present here, the current faculty and members of the IMB community, the alumni and those special alumni who have flown in specifically for this evening's function, Rahul, Ashish, and Prashant, and all the other members of the IMB community, a very hearty welcome to all of you. As all of you are aware, the alumni of IMB over the last decade or so have been working very hard to establish this honorable tradition of giving back to the institution. They have been always very helpful in contributing both their physical and intellectual might in all our academic and non-academic activities without fail. And they didn't stop there. They have also been contributing significantly financially to further the cause of IMB and to establish and make IMB stay as one of the best management institutions in this part of the world. Today, on this evening, the alumni have chosen to add another illustrious luster to their spirit of giving back to the institution. They have chosen to combine the spirit of giving back to the spirit of expressing their gratitude to all the great faculty members who have not only made a whole lot of difference to their own lives, but also to this great institution through their tireless and dedicated service. And what better day could they have chosen other than this Guru Purnima day where all of us gather together and pay respects to our Guru. <laughs> and more significantly, this embellished tradition of giving back and expressing gratitude is being started off under the watch of our Guru of all Gurus, Professor Vatsala Nagarajan, who has consented to be here this evening, and it is a great honor to have her here with us today. As an alumnus, it is very, very difficult for me to resist the temptation to speak about Professor Vatsala Nagarajan through the eyes of my own personal interactions with her. When I joined the PGP program in 1979, the first day of my PGP program, I attended a class. And I came from an engineering background, from an university system. And the first 90 minutes, she made us so comfortable with her poise, with her uh, articulation, and with the command over the subjects. And most of us sailed through very comfortably under her watchful eyes. But more importantly, I had an occasion to work very closely with her when I was doing my FPM program. That's when I really saw the real Professor Vatsala Nagarajan. 
I happened to be the student representative in the Academic Council, and she was the senior faculty member, member of the uh, Academic Council. And there was one particular issue which I had to take to the Academic Council. There was one course where many of the FFM students from my batch, we were very unhappy. It was a very important course for our doctoral program. And we were very unhappy with that course, and we took it as a complaint to the Academic Council. There were a couple of other senior faculty members who were also members of the Council at that time. So when I opened my mouth and made my case saying that this is not on, they literally shouted me down and wagged their fingers at me and saying, how dare you cross the line? Your job is not to come here and complain about the faculty. I just turned around, I was really shaken, and I started looking at Professor Vatsala Nagaraj, and she hadn't spoken a word till then. And then when I looked at her face, her look was sterner than the other two professors. I was even more scared. But then she uttered, a couple of sentences, I'm not reproducing them verbatim, but what she said was something like this. Why did you put up with this for so long? And why are you so apologetic about bringing up this issue today? These are the two questions she asked. And I don't have to tell you the outcome was a very happy outcome for all of us FP FPM students. And that is the P Professor Vatsala Nagarajan whom I have experienced. There are many of you present here who are going to recount your experiences with Professor Vatsala Nagarajan. So without much ado, I request Professor Raghuram to formally welcome Professor Vatsala Nagarajan with the honors. <laughs> I must also add that uh, along with Professor Vatsala Nagarajan and Mr. Va Nagarajan, her son and many of her immediate close family members are here. We extend a very hearty welcome to all of you. And we really appreciate your support. It means a lot to us. And thank you for helping us by bringing her to the campus. It, it means a lot to us. Thank you so much. Uh, so to signify this occasion, uh, our uh, communications team led by Kavita has prepared a small video tribute to Professor Vatsala Nagarajan. Can I ask Partha to get that started? Extremely kind, benevolent, and warm. She was a truly committed teacher. On many occasions I found her spending hours with students after the classroom. It was a great joy to work with her and she used to treat me like her own son actually and uh, provide a lot of uh, what one can call encouragement and to all the younger faculty members she was considered as one of those role models. She was a mother figure. Every boy or girl was her son or daughter. And there was a lot of love between the students and the teacher. And this was the foundation for her immense popularity. 32 years later, I must admit, I am still working on her suggestions. You know, her humor was really something, you know, which would send us into gales of laughter. She had such a great fan following, you know, we were all amazed. I still think, you know, if we had with social media uh, those many years ago, the kind of following she would have had on Twitter or Instagram would have been unparalleled. Like her name, she was really Vatsalya personified. She is one of the two people who have significantly influenced my life as teachers, uh, apart from Professor Prasanna Chandra. I would call her not only a teacher of the students, but a teacher of the teachers, because I learned a lot from her teaching techniques, which I was trying to apply when I became a teacher, particularly how to be patient with students. This is a very unique event that students have gone out of their way to contribute to dedicate a classroom in the name of Professor Vatsala Nagarajan. I recall with nostalgia those initial years when IMB had just been established. We were a small community of faculty, research and administrative staff 
where hierarchies were yet to emerge. Yet it was a time of challenges, ranging from defining individual academic roles to the sheer effort of settling down. Many of us came to a completely new city with its own unique culture. It was in these initial years that Vatsala played an indispensable role of a local host and a good Samaritan. Her house in Maleshwaram soon became a hub for us to gather, chat, and of course have delicious meals that were often cooked with very short notice. I'm very happy that L11, the classroom, is being named after Professor Vatsala Nagarajan. Uh, Professor Vatsala Nagarajan taught me accounting, not in L11, but in L12. That was the classroom where we sat through her classes. One of the most fascinating teachers I've ever found in my career as a student, as well as my career as a teacher. What makes me uh, want to speak about her on this occasion is her qualities as a human being, as a teacher. Uh, the sheer warmth, uh, the affection that she had for everyone uh, in the class. Um, she reminds me or typifies uh, something that I read in my son's school once. It said, teaching is a vocation of love and uh, if you are incapable of loving, you, sh you should not be a teacher. So Vatsala Ma'am is an inexhaustible reservoir of that love, warmth, affection, whatever you want to call it. I found Vatsala a very positive, helpful and committed person. She was loved by students and faculty and staff members for her positive and uprightness. She was one of the most affectionate persons I have ever known in my life. And especially when I came to this organization as a raw faculty member, we had um, such a lovely time uh, together over the years. We celebrated birthdays together. It was a great moment. It was not just the birthdays of us faculty members, but it was our families too. Over the years, I have interacted with her on many occasions. I found her very cordial, affectionate and cooperative. I joined the institute in 1986, but had no courses to teach immediately, as it was in the middle of the year. Professor Vatsala Nagarajan readily told me to teach her elective course Budget Planning and Control. Next year, in 1987, she told me to take over the Financial Accounting core course. It was extremely generous of her. Vatsala's charismatic, self-effacing personality, always radiating positivity and warmth, put everyone from the staff to the director at ease and made her always very approachable. Patsla truly was an inspirational and motivational leader. She retired as an academic dean, leaving behind very warm memories and an abundance of goodwill. Vatsala, on a personal note, I can only say I am indeed very fortunate to have you in my life and will always hold a very precious place in my heart. Thanks to IMB for making all this possible. I really don't know how to respond to this show of affection. All I can say is, thank you very much. Parents are normally very proud of their children when they do well in life. A teacher is always proud when all her students do well. When I think of IIM and the students, successful professionals with uh, very good hearts, to go through a program like this makes me very happy and also very proud. And all these staff. Well, uh, you know, the year is 1976, and the more I sort of get into the gravity of the sentiments and uh, whatever is being uh, spoken of of uh, Professor uh, Vatsala. So I'm just wondering, you know, I'm just wondering how come I decided to go and do my PGP in that institution. 
out in the west. Yeah, so anyway, today is Guru Purnima, an auspicious day for teachers, students, and uh, extend a warm welcome to all of you. And I think this is a wonderful initiative, as Kumar just mentioned, a new alumni seated initiative to honor one of our own, one of, our, one of their teachers, Professor Vatsala Nagarajan. This is the first time in the history of IAMB that we have a classroom named after a faculty member. I hope this initiative will inspire other alums to step forward to honor their teachers. You know, we are touched and honored by the presence of Professor Vatsala and uh, Mr. Nagarajan. In fact, until maybe less than 10 days ago, we weren't sure and we were looking at you know, other forms of technology to see from wherever she was, how could we still bring her into the classroom? But I think this is really, you know, gracious and kind of you to have uh, agreed to come here. So this spirit of giving, I mean, I think the one is the whole idea of the alumni sentiment for the uh, gurus and the institution. And the fact that the institute's value itself, in many ways, I think goes up because of this kind of an initiative. I must thank all the alums who seeded this idea. Uh, I think the first uh, uh, thing came from Rahul. And then very quickly, you know, a whole batch, batch of 92 got on. And then we had uh, Prashant and we had uh, Ashish. And many others, as the board outside says. So thank you all very much for this. So well, sh uh, actually, I, Professor Vatsala looks like she joined uh, IAM Bangalore, some, you know, what would be a mid-career for many of us. I think she was uh, 42 by the time she joined uh, IAM Bangalore as a professor in the finance and control area. And it, it appears that she had actually applied for a research fellow position. And then, you know, those who were looking at her said, that's where she did, you know, that's not where she belonged. And, uh, you know, she needs to come in as a faculty. And so there she was in the finance and control area. And of course, towards the, uh, towards the end, you know, uh, last few years of her being here, uh, the fact that she was really an integrator across all uh, stakeholders in the institution that she was chosen as the dean, the dean academics then, which she served from April 91 till uh, her superannuation on September 30th, 92. I'm sure as you will hear and as this whole sentiment actually, uh, you know, it comes out because of her being an outstanding teacher friend, guide, and mentor to students, staff, and faculty. You know, Watsi, I guess as she's uh, more, uh, you know, uh, in an affectionate way called, was always supportive, positive, and, you know, listening, reading what some of the uh, students have written about her, an embodiment of the sentiment of Acharya Devo Bhava. <laughs> well, she combined, as they say, a sharp intellect with modesty, humaneness, and a sense of humor. I had, uh, of course, you know, we had gone to see her uh, at her home, and uh, I got a glimpse of that. And I think w another glimpse of it just now, when she was in, uh, you know, in the room there, and uh, one of the students approached her, and uh, you know, paid his regards and said that she may not remember him since you know, he was not a bright student in the class. Quick-wittedly, she said, well, in that case, I ought to be remembering you. <laughs> so anyway, <coughs> I think there are interesting uh, 
aspects of her life right from her birth. I mean, Preeti had sent her niece, has sent this little thing about her that, uh, you know, what made her a tough person. You know, in many ways, like Krishna, I guess, uh, in our mythology, uh, she, uh, you know, her mother, um, her parents were freedom fighters and they were jailed in 1932. And at the time when her mother was jailed, uh, she was two months carrying Vatsala. And uh, so the, until the day of birth, she was in jail, living off the jail food. And, you know, <laughs> so. <laughs> and she was born in the jail hospital. Okay, so that's in many ways, uh, you know, some <laughs> reason of her being a tough cookie as she is and continues to be. So her son says, being recognized as a great teacher does not come easy. It is hard-earned praise. The fact that so many of your former students love you and think so highly of you is a testament to your knowledge, character, spirit, and sense of humor. In fact, he goes on to say that though the sons are in the U.S., I mean, they are the that the larger family is really taking care of her. The larger family of students whom she has always viewed as, you know, came out in the video too, as her children. Her granddaughters say, we are so proud to be your granddaughters and you continue to inspire us every day. You have served as a role model for us in so many ways and we would not be where we are without your example. Throughout our lives, you have shown us what it means to be an incredible teacher, a successful professional woman, a compassionate wife, mother and grandmother. So I guess we now have the picture of what this great lady is that uh, there are so many such wonderful emotions that have been captured in the little booklet that very quickly our team put together. And uh, we would like it to be released by uh, Batsala. And thank you very much. Without taking anything away from the solemnness of this occasion, I request all the speakers to be a little brief and restrict yourself to the more important things which you want to share so that more people can come up and share their experiences. Uh, may I start by requ requesting Professor Jagdeshwar. Actually, I'm very much cut up with Kumar because that I should be brief. <laughs> One cannot be brief, especially on an occasion which is very emotional to most of us, students and faculty members. And uh, what is most emotional to me was to seeing her here. I didn't expect her here, honestly, Vatsala. And I was insisting that they should have a Skype session with her. Now, what is it that makes students and faculty members appreciate her so much? Because there have been many good faculty members, and there still are, I'm sure, and I am. Exceptions, of course, being there. There must be something very magical about her. It's very difficult to figure out. But one thing what was sure about her was in addition to her academic acumen, the warmth she brought to my school. She's a soul. And you have heard of everyone talking about the warmth. I don't know how we became friends. I have nothing to do with finance. Neither I have them, nor do I know anything them. <laughs> but even now, when I met her, she always beat me up. So this that kind of, she's always treated me, though I'm I myself a grandfather. She still treats me as her grandson. And she keeps, <laughs> okay, she never gave me a respect due to a professor, <laughs> ever. Another very emotional, personal emotional issue is this. This very classroom that has been dedicated to her, I'm very proud to say, at that time when we moved into the institute, of course it was not this grand, we had only one class there. We couldn't fit in 60 students. My colleague, Professor Nagdara, and I personally supervised this classroom to be constructed within a week. Where we had, we had a stone cut over here, one of would be 
monitoring them one over the other. And this class, Vatsala, is dedicated to him. I'm extremely happy. All I can say is, there's another thing about her. When the, it became a fashion to run organization-based programs with faculty members who made a lot of money and management development program, Professor La Vatsara Nagran conducted a lot of programs only to charitable institutions. All India Handicapped Association, All India Blind Association, and you can imagine how grateful they are to her, and they should be even today. And as Abu Badam, Ben Adam got told that he was the first on her list, on his list, may her tribe increase. Thank you. Uh, maybe at this time I should let you in on a secret because uh, Pata and the team, they have been planning for this event for a while. So we invited, we asked a few people who have confirmed, yes, I would like to say something on this occasion. So I'll first invite them and then we'll have an open session so that all these surprise visitors to this function can also come and share their experiences. So can I now invite uh, Professor Arna Ranswami. Good evening, everyone. A very pleasant uh, evening for us to be uh, felicitating our colleague. Uh, this was the classroom where I taught first. I came in September. Yeah. Sorry about that. So I think they did not like my saying this. They cut it out from the video. I don't know why. So <laughs> I had I joined on the 1st of September when the first term was almost over. And um, inevitably, I went to uh, Vatsala's room. That was where I think Milky sits now. So I went and told her I joined the institute. She said, oh, you look like my son. How are you going to teach? <laughs> so I said, I don't know. So how am I, how am I to survive here? She said, OK, you come with me to my class. And she, I came into her to class. And it's the first class. She said, so I have brought a new person here who is going to be teaching you. He will say something now. <laughs> I was completely unprepared. And the whole class was mine. That I think we used to have one hour classes then. I didn't know what to say. So she said, so you say something. I said, I haven't prepared anything. She said, you say something. You are in front of students. So. So capitalization of borrowing cost was a very controversial topic then. So I said something about it. I think I just mumbled something. But I managed to keep on talking. So I realized that you have to keep the audience busy for one hour. Because she was she left me to my own devices. She said, nothing doing. You are on your own. You have to be here for one hour. So I spoke for some time. After the class got over, she took me back to her office and told me two things. She said, be speak a little slowly so that students can understand what you're saying. Second, be a bit more kind to students. <laughs> I think what she meant was be less unkind. <laughs> but in her own characteristic style, she put it in a very positive way. Uh, I don't think I have done anything on these two suggestions. No improvement <laughs> at all. So she looks at my performance now. I think it will be a zero now as before. Uh, the point is, I was extremely fortunate to have a colleague like her preceding me in this course because I did not have to do anything to do well in the course. The course was already very popular. I think I was sailing on her popularity for quite a while. I think after that, the popularity was mine and it died after that. <laughs> so uh, I remember her on many occasions, I would go to her and say, I tried doing this in the class. It didn't work. What do you suggest? She said, no, you should not worry. Just go try. So we have also had all these bad moments in the class. So just go try. Uh, the first elective I taught, I think it came on the video, was budget planning and control. So we had a director, Jay Philip, then. He had told me that um, you have to teach two courses to be able to complete your probation. And I don't know if very probation is a very serious thing or not now, but it was a very bad thing then. Because a couple of my colleagues' probations got extended. So I was very scared. So he said, finish two courses at least. So I didn't have any course at all to teach. So I told her, how do I survive? She said, you to teach half a course of management accounting, what was called a coma then, cost and management accounting. The joke actually was FAM, financial accounting and management, famish, then go into coma, <laughs> and then finally we packed into CARFIN, corporate finance. <laughs> so this was a reputation of the course. So I taught coma, half the course, and then I 
next year then next term i had to teach something so she said you take my budget planning and control and uh, that course i ran for quite some time the next year she said you teach the entire financial accounting course so actually to my to me it was like her handing over her child to me because she treated i think when he talked about how she treated her students in the classroom but to me the way she loved her subject she actually was talking with her discipline all the time i know this because and she wouldn't like anyone saying anything bad about accounting because once i told her in a joking way you know all these accountants thoroughly useless she said no you are talking to somebody from the family of accountants my father was an accountant brother is an accountant i am an accountant so i am an accountant too but then all you ought not to speak like this at all and she was actually sounding half serious so i i was a little worried as to what i had done very nice person very good human being very large hearted magnanimous i think i haven't seen anyone who could just forgive you uh, regardless of what you do and i have done many things which were completely un unforgivable she said it's okay so all of us do these things it's fine i am extremely happy that she is here in fact i am very guilty of not seeing her for quite some time the last time i saw her was maybe some 3 years back when professor vaidyanathan and i visited her at her house in malleshwaram and we told her please vacate this house because we felt that ms nagarajan and she were struggling in the house there was nobody to help but she told us a lot of students come and help us out and people on the way to the airport or back from the airport drop by this was a very deeply touching thing because students here would actually award you immediately after they get the grades <laughs> as long as the grades are not out they love you a lot but after the professor retires they still go to our house and help her out is an unbelievable thing so uh, me god bless her gave her many more years of life in fact um, this is not a complaint just a, an idea which i am just sharing with you something like about 7 8 years back i sent an email to my area chair saying that we should create a chair of excellence in teaching in honor of professor ratsala nagarajan and then we also added professor prasanna chandra's name to that list and for some reason that didn't work out but i do hope the director is here so i hope we can do something about it and because this is the best way to remember them and for us to get inspired by them uh pranams to you ma'am all the best to you good luck uh, good evening good evening everybody i don't know why kumar said professor because i am a student of hers i am uh, and it's not only a student because uh, exactly 40 years ago we first met at the iim in in july exactly july 78 when i joined the iim and uh, after i joined i realized and mr nagarajan has never he always says this with a lot of pride but uh, i realized that mr nagarajan and my father were classmates in st joseph's trichy in the 40s so our association goes back to probably 60 70 years and it's 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 been excellent because right now i don't even see her as a teacher or anything she's just my foster mother we've kept in touch for the last 40 years we meet each other she is a fairy godmother for my children for our grandchildren every diwali she calls me i used to go very regularly but she'll call me up if i don't go and say that diwali sweet is still there for you the diwali marind is, is still there for you why haven't you come and taken it so that's really uh, uh, our association with the nagarajans there's nothing much i can add to to all the sentiments that have been uh, express because that's what she is i mean she she's you know just amazing i don't think she was called vatsi in our time bringi you might be able to yeah yeah we were a little more formal and uh, proper in uh, in in the way we we dealt with it uh, but like uh, you know we are, like all other institutions you start at the top and uh, <laughs> but uh, having said that just let me just take few minutes on two three things one is as a teacher Uh, i guess if, i i mean i never went into finance but i still remember exactly what we did in the first term but two things actually stand out uh, which are in my memory one was i remember in the class we were in the old uh, andri road of course st joseph's college and one of the, my classmates said you know i don't know whether i need to attend this course i am a chartered accountant so professor watsala nagarajan in a sweet smiling mild mannered way turns to the board and write something on the board and says why don't you explain to this class what this is all about <laughs> and uh, that was it i don't think we heard a peep from that guy for the next 3 months and he said you know maybe it might be nice if you if you sit in the class that was one and the second 
amazing thing which I real which we don't realize, but obviously somebody else realizes this. Uh, my uncle was the head of finance in Myco in those days, so I used to see him very regularly, hardcore cost accountant and things like that. And about six weeks into the course, I was talking to him about you know debit sheet, you know balance sheet, debit credit, this that uh, entries. And he says, you guys have done this in six weeks? I said, yeah, I mean, we, we don't have a choice. We just have to do it. He says, this is what we would do in a few months or a year. And you guys are telling me that you're doing it. He says, who is your professor? I said, this is our prof who teaches us all this. And he was a hardcore accountant. And he was truly amazed that we guys could actually pick up all of this uh, in, in such a short time. So that's, that's what she's all about. Uh, as a person, as I said, 40 years. Uh, I have I have seen the pride in her face every time she introduces me to someone else. She introduces an alumnus to somebody else. I've heard of Rahul so many times. So Rahul, you're not the only one, but I know you are one of the many that she keeps. And hats off to you and the alumni for doing this today. I, I, I think we all need to give Rahul uh, and his friends, all the others who have uh, pitched in, uh, a, a, a remarkable achievement. I have. Um, as I said, the positivity is one thing you just cannot. Somebody, I think Narayan Swami said that 42, or she, there somebody said that she joined at 42 and they said you should be a research scholar. She wanted to join. One thing is she hasn't grown since from 42. Even today, she's amazingly young at heart. I have seen her through the last 20, 25 years with all the health and problems that she's gone through. When you meet her, you will not know there is even a single thing. She, any question time you ask her, how are you? top of the world. That's the only thing that you can see. If there was ever positivity, despite all that she went through, it is, it's Vatsala Nagarajan. Uh, that's really it. I'm going to just do one last thing and I'm going to show. In 2003, exactly 15 years ago, when I was the president of the Alumni Association, we actually felicitated two faculty members. One was Vatsala Nagarajan, the other was Apu Naya, MNV Naya. And all I would like to do is read out from the felicitation that we gave her, because I think that summarizes it. Uh, and this is what we said of her. Pro Dear Professor Vatsala Nagarajan, Kahil Gibran once said, a good teacher does not bid you to enter the house of wisdom, but rather leads you to the threshold of your mind. Going back in time, across our minds when we wrote No Thoroughfare, you came by and said, finance everywhere. Mrs. Vatsala Nagarajan, also known as Vatsi, very few actually knew you as uh, Vatsala. You were the darling of many a batch at IAMB. We know you for your sincerity, both in teaching and care for student welfare. It was with you, dear Vatsi, that many of us started our journey into the quagmire of corporate finance. Very soon we realized that there was more to trial balances and profit and losses than putting figures on both sides of the black line so that the totals tally. You taught us that it is not just the figures, but what is behind them that matters, as with life in general. You did that with us, Professor Vatsala Nagarajan, and we can never forget what you taught us, which is why today, the 27th of December 2003, we, your old students, rise and bow in your honor. Thank you once again. Thank you for everything. That was Vatsala. I'm only going to take one more liberty. Bringi, I'm going to take the liberty from you. I just thought I would do this. The next day, the, on the 25th anniversary of the 78 batch, the reunion, the 78 batch presented this to Vatsala. And I take the liberty of, uh, can I read this on your behalf, or can I ask you to read it? Thank you for the lessons we learned from you, both implied and explicit. Thank you for the care and attention you gave to us. Thank you for the grades and feedback. Thank you for the hard lessons and the easy ones too. Thank you for your time and sacrifices. Thank you for the knowledge and showing us how to apply it. Thank you for the tradition that you have instilled in us. Thank you for your compassion and openness. Thank you, Professor. We can never thank you enough. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And thanks, ma'am, for all that you've done for us. Now I'm going to request a very special person. Ramesh has already given a hint who that is. Uh, he is the alumnus who really started off this whole process. And thanks to his initiative, in almost less than a couple of months, we have seen this initiative coming to fruition. And we have inaugurated this Vatsala Nagarajan classroom. 
Rahul, please come and share your thoughts. With you. Rahul Shukla is from the PGP program of 91, right? 91 batch. You know, uh, you guys have an unfair advantage because you are in the profession of speaking and talking, and we are never, you know, going to be as glib as all of you. <coughs> so, uh, Partha, you know, pushed me to write, you know, something for the booklet, um, which I did, and, uh, and and maybe I'll just, you know, go through that. So, you know, as I go back, uh, uh, maybe about, you know, 29 years, it was, you know, just before the FAM class, and they said that our professor was Vatsi, and you know, that conjured up a different image of a person, uh, because Vatsi rhymes with uh, Betsy and Patsy. Uh, but it does not, you know, basically sound similar with somebody who's a Tamil Brahmin, uh, red dot, uh, traditional sari, exactly like this, um, and, and she's the one who actually walked in. Um, but uh, she was very understated, but very, very confident. And she had to be very confident, as uh, we've all realized, because she was tasked to teach financial accounting to a bunch of male engineers who didn't know what it was. And in the beginning, she, they didn't really care much you know, for that subject. Nevertheless, uh, she persevered, and it is a tribute to the foundation that she built um, that finance in Mumbai is now run by a large number of her students, and two of them, you know, Prashanto and Ashish are you know, sitting here today. The two years at the campus went by fairly quickly. My interactions with her have shaped my social views largely. And I, as, and I often say um, that she is the reason I think the way I think as an, uh, as an adult. <coughs> uh, she remained and sh she remains um, humble till date. When the idea first came up to honor her and it was pr proposed to her, it took some time to bring her around. Uh, because if you know her, it, there were the usual uh, murmurings, why me? I'm a small person. There are others who deserve it much more. Can we do this and that? Uh, so we managed to deal with the deflections and ultimately told her that the institute needed funding for its projects. And this was a way to balance the assets and liabilities. <laughs> Stated in those terms, she was all right. Uh, she had to be, as otherwise it would have meant that she had taught us accounting wrong. And she was not going to you know, take that. Vatsi's legacy is not just as a teacher in the classroom, but as a life coach. I admire her more for not the two years that I knew her at campus, but how she has conducted, conducted herself in the last 25 years since her retirement, involved in a variety of social initiatives, pushing financial literacy in do-good organizations who have limited knowledge of how to deal with money matters, uh, going and sitting in dharna outside uh, karnataka administrative services offices with 80 plus women demanding that uh, her home you know basically gets the status that they were looking for her absolute passion for all things re related to sports uh, from cricket to tennis next morning you would be questioned you know how the match was the mistress of her kitchen because nobody else could run it better even you know at the age of 85 uh, her vast reading repertoire, uh, that was amazing. Her adept management of post-retirement finances, uh, which she refuses to let go and you know, give it to anybody else. Her total involvement with her grandchildren and her encouragement of Uncle Nagarajan's codification of Carnatic music compositions over the ages is something that many can do, but very few triple cancer survivors can manage. In carrying on... <coughs> In carrying on with her illness, I have seen her total devotion for Uncle Nagarajan because in every conversation, it is not her ailments that she discusses, but more about how he needs to be comfortable if he were to be by himself. And it is in fact, that is something that she can pushes her to just keep dragging on. That is what I have learned from her, a life that is better lived for others and not for oneself. And in the next birth, if you were to be my teacher, don't learn financial accounting because that would be passe, maybe artificial intelligence. Then I would, you know, do that well too. Thank you. Good evening, friends. I was, uh, in a way, fortunate not to be ever part of any class that Professor Vatsala Nagarajan taught. Because I always believed Professor Vatsala Nagarajan was meant more to students outside the classroom rather than inside the classroom. And anybody who did not even take her course, could always walk to her, discuss anything with her, and her, uh, she always had an open door. And my first interaction with her was actually on July 28, 1990, at St. John's National Academy. 
on July 27th, I had had a fall on campus. And even before any of my family members had arrived, Professor Vatsala Nagarajan was there at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. She came and asked, she was very upset. But she also recognized that I had taken a dwell. And so I had moved on. And that started an association that uh, when I when I am be refused to take me back, along with Dr. Suranjan Bhattacharji of CMC Velour, Professor Vatsala Nagarajan and a few of my batchmates would have none of it. They fought, got me back, and my mother came and stayed here, and both of them forged a friendship that lasted till my mother's death. Every day at the morning break, my mother used to make that long walk from the hostel to have tea and snacks with Professor Vatsala Nagarajan. And placement season came and went. I was the only guy in the batch left without a job. So Professor Vatsala Nagarajan called me and told me, look, I can organize a job in financing in, a, in an engineering company in Bangalore. I said, that's nice, but those were early days and after my injury, and I was a bit skeptical of life in Bangalore with the spinal cord injury, and so I told her I'd pass. So I stayed on for a couple of months on campus because my home in Bangalore, in Chennai, was not yet ready. And I think it was towards the end of May 1992, the day came that I had to leave campus, and uh, she would not give up. I remember she said, you come come to my room. We met there. She took me to Dr. K. R. S. Murthy's room. She told Prof. K. R. S. Murthy that there's no way Vaidhi can go without a job from the campus. She made him call the Unit Trust of India chairman, fixed a job, and made sure I went back with the job. Of course, it didn't matter that, uh, it mattered a lot, but uh, I joined the job, and after three days, I quit because I was asked to fill up a physically handicapped quota form. I resigned, with, I refused to fill it up. I wrote to her, and she was completely uh, understanding of it, and uh, uh, she's been a part of our family. I think. Uh, She's more family for me and my entire uh, clan rather than a professor. And I think the last two days, there have been a lot of interactions in the WhatsApp groups. And the only the one thing that constantly comes across from everybody is Vatsala Nagarajan did not teach us academics. Vatsala Nagarajan taught us how to be a good human being. Thank you. I'm here uh, speaking on behalf of uh, the PGP class of 1992. Why is part of my batch, and can I have Sanjeev, Vidya, and Sanjay? We are all here uh, to say thank you um, and to share a bit of our experiences with you. And uh, I'll I'll request for a slight deviation. I'm certainly going to spend a bit of my time talking about giving back and giving back to our alma mater. And uh, you, of course, are the reason we are doing this. But let me tell you our story of giving back to campus. It was exactly a year back. 27th, 28th of July, 2017. And we were here for our 25th uh, reunion. And there was a lot of camaraderie. Many of the people that I see here, um, Ms. Bakru was here, Professor Eddy was here, Professor Prasanna Chandra was here, Professor Apte was here. And that felt like a, that was our reunion. Today when I see uh, all of you here and the conversations over tea time, it almost feels like a faculty reunion is happening today, you know? So we are the lucky folks who get to come back every 20th and 25th. It was great to see you, Professor Murthy. But this is honestly thanks to you, uh, Vatsi, uh, a faculty reunion that is um, happening. Uh, Professor Aguram spoke to us about the plans for uh, IMB. We are extremely proud of where IMB has reached on the global stage. Uh, we heard about the new campus, and we hope it looks as wild as this place looked when we joined here in 1990. So we heard about the plans for uh, IMB, felt very uh, inspired and energized by it. And it instilled in us a desire to give back. So what we're doing today is but a start. It is a small start. We would like to give back financially and with time, energy, and expertise in whatever form that IM Bangalore would like us to contribute. So that's one thing that we as a batch have held dear, that we will contribute to something that the institute wants us to do. But even then, we are a batch of 200 MBAs. You have seen us in group discussions, even before we came here to campus. Those group discussions have now moved to our WhatsApp groups. So our WhatsApp group, which has 160 people, will typically have 200 opinions at any point of time. And we had several conversations regarding what should we deploy our money over. 
and then ma'am magic happened the name vatsala nagarajan was mentioned the institute reached out to us saying rahul had started this thought and would the batch of 1992 like to join in it and i think it was within minutes that we all agreed that this was absolutely the right thing to do so that was the magic that you helped create um it's something that Uh, uh, I take the liberty of sharing a number with you today. So, as of this morning, in the IMB accounts, our batch has contributed a crore and a hundred and one rupees. So, that's the money that's uh, in the bank. We really think it is a small start. We really think it's a small start. We must tell you about. I must tell you about what our friends had to say. so i have these friends who owe their careers to you and these are banking careers and they are senior management like the people here and some of them in this room one engineer friend of mine she said to me that uh, i was so scared going into an accounting classroom and we had a lot of work experience students who are like this chartered accountant that you mentioned and they said oh god now we have to compete with these cas also and she talks about how you took her under her wing and she went on to a career in banking and there are many many such stories that our whatsapp group has been buzzing about uh, for the last uh, ever since this idea was mooted by the institute uh, professor narasamy you said this this was our classroom yeah so this and the room across were called 7 and 8 yes they were called 7 and 8 i think we were the fortunate batch or the fortunate last batch that graduated with no mandatory uh, attendance <laughs> we were i think the last class so these names were not there uh, or so we graduated with uh, no mandatory uh, attendance so what more could we ask for our favorite faculty member our old classroom we really our cup spilleth over uh, we would like generations of imb future students to ask about vatsala nagarajan and we will proudly tell them the story of a wonderful teacher and our favorite watsi thank you very much when partha contacted me some time back saying that we would like to collect some materials about watsala well we set the ball rolling and fortunately the family of watsala responded immediately we got all the details i was a student from a 76 78 batch and we were i was a chartered accountant and another friend of mine was a cost accountant so we had to keep quiet in the class but we had also had a teacher i don't want to name him who was teaching the basic accounts who would refuse to follow the style what whatsala was adopting so which was causing a lot of confusion to students so many times the students used to raise objection and there was a feeling that myself and venkat were trying to uh coax people to complete and he offered as a elective business studies which none of the students opted for and he went to complete watsala <laughs> i hope you are aware of it so we said we are in no way interested and that is the time dr prasad chandra was uh, joining there so we all of us we, we are opted for that course and uh, this faculty member felt that we has slighted him which even though we had no role about in that okay but the way we went on i keep meeting vatsala since i am our neighbor practically uh, even though we may not talk to each other but <laughs> we do uh, what is happening in our house and they also keep calling me and i have known her as a person as with, with, with uh, others uh, other uh, alumnus have uh, spoken to you we are very close we never treat, after we left the institute we never looked at her as a professor rather go to person she is one person go to for all problems and we have discussed whether we we have argued and many times <laughs> it has been including my wife in fact she is closer to my wife than to be now <laughs> she has been a wonderful person and lot of memories to her thank you was an agrajan i don't know if you remember me we met for the first time almost 66 years ago <laughs> i think i'm fairly safe to say that i have known you longer than almost anybody else in this room except my father kesnagrajan 
The rest of you don't even bother to try and catch up. You won't make it. I will say I'm here as the representative for the U.S. branch of our family. So on behalf of my brother Arun, your daughters-in-law, Leela Urvashi, your grandchildren, Maya, Priya, Nikhil, and Rahul, we really, really proud of you. And we're really glad you had this day come. But to just to bring things down to reality, all of you have built my mother up as a paragon of virtue, and she is. But you have to remember that she has spent more time behind bars than anybody else in this room. And that, I think, has tended to bring about, how do I put this delicately, her willingness to bend rules if not break them. And this, to protect the innocent, I'm now saying what I'm about to say is <coughs> a work of fiction. But there was a time when a certain professor of IMB was going to the US with her older son. Packed in her large handbag was a whole lot of contraband of vegetables which she could not at the time get in the US. I'm talking about drumsticks, I'm talking about Bangalore Katrikai, the works, which is illegal under US law, and she knew it. This unnamed lady put all this in her handbag, put a large white handkerchief over the top, and the time came to go to customs inspection, walks up to the customs inspector, opens her handbag to him, showing just the white handkerchief on top, and says, would you like to inspect my handbag? The man looks at her, looks at her face, looks at the handbag, no ma'am, please go right through. <laughs> That's not the best part. Following this woman was her hapless son with his luggage. The customs inspector takes one look at him and says, well, sir, what do we have here? Coming back from India, are you? And then proceeds to take his luggage apart bit by bit, underwear piece to underwear piece. He shredded my luggage. And all the time, a mother was standing in the corner with this beatific look on her face. You could almost see the halo on top. This long suffering look saying, why, my son, are you bothering this poor customs man? I had a really hard time keeping a straight face. And after we got out of there, I told her, that's not just mother. She has nice smiles and says, let's like so, On that note, I'll end. I think uh, this is a story that uh, most of you would not know, uh, which is that I was in my second, I just completed my second year of the doctoral program. Prasav Atsala was the dean then. I was expecting. And I walked up to her, and because I really didn't know what to do, I walked up to her and said, I'm still on the program, and I'm expecting, and I don't know what to do, and what is going to happen. And then I was just told by the FPM office that there is no maternity policy. And now you can imagine the stress I walk up to her, and everyone has described her uh, characteristic. She sits there calmly and she says, oh, you must enjoy your pregnancy. Just, yeah, you must just enjoy. And, and I'm like, what's happening here, right? Here's this person saying, yeah, 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 just take care of yourself, enjoy yourself, and just make sure that you come back, OK? And then I said, the FPM office says there's no maternity policy. So she says, I'll speak to Ranganathan. And the next thing I know, I'm packed off. But I think it was such an important decision because I think it kind of changed the professional I have become today. Yeah? At that point in time where nobody spoke about being a woman or what does it mean to be, you know, having a child when you're in the middle of the program, today you'll be so proud to know that so many of our doctoral uh, students take a break and return. Okay? And that's what I think you've done for this institution. And for that, I'm thankful to you. And I think it's that quality of yours that somewhere or the other I hope to embed every day at the institution. Thank you for being such a great teacher from whom I learned. But even more than that, for the wonderful human being that you were at that point in time when I needed you most. Thank you. Professor Raghuram, Professor Murthy, Professor Prasanna Chandra, Professor Vatsala Nagarajan, Professor Jagdish, Professor Meera Bakru, and all the other teachers, some of whom I may not recognize, fellow uh, uh, colleagues. I am an extremely poor public speaker, as you will realize uh, shortly. But uh, I kn know very little about her, and I know so much more about you, and that's why I thought I must come up and share some thoughts. I am deeply privileged to have had outstanding teachers throughout my life. I had failed in class 8th in maths. And by chance, I found outstanding teacher. And maths actually became my forte. 
and same when I came here to I am I was an engineer I had no clue about money about accounting and today I have done well in financial uh, investment management thanks to teachers like you so I am deeply indebted and grateful to all the outstanding teachers that I have had my memories of Professor Vatsala Nagarajan are of an extremely warm, affectionate, patient uh, person, as so many more have said. But as I said, I don't know much about you, and I'm, uh, I go back very educated about what the person you are. Whatever I think pe me and my friends, colleagues have done for this uh, school campus is quite insignificant compared to what uh, we have received and I think all of us are acutely aware of that. This is a very small start and I think we must all thank Rahul for having uh, given us this idea and I propose that we should carry this on. There are lots of good outstanding teachers that we have benefited from and I think we should come back to you uh, and do this year after uh, year. I also salute the physical effort which uh, Partha and many others have put in because what we have done is we are giving a very small portion of what we have but to give someone's time I think is the most uh, difficult thing and I think I would like to uh, going forward not just contribute in terms of money but also I would be happy to contribute to physically uh, in terms of time to pay back in small measure whatever we have uh, received. So I would uh, just end by reciting a couplet by Kabir. I think it's Kabir. Guru Govind do khade kake lago pai bali hari guru aapne govind diyo badai. So I think what this means is if God and teachers both are standing in front of you, we should first touch the feet of teachers because teachers tell us how to find God. So we are deeply obliged to all of you. Thank you. I'll just say two things. One is to thank Vatsala and uh, Professor Raghuram because giving and gratitude are two sides of the same coin. And this uh, gratitude of the batch of uh, our alumni and the fact that we are recognizing that contribution of giving are both uh, very important. And I hope we will uh, perpetuate, enhance and increase this giving and gratitude as a part of our lives. Second thing is, we have all talked about Vatsala's great teaching, but as director, I found her a wonderful dean. <laughs> Remember Vatsala, one of the first things we wanted to do when I came here was to revise the PGP curriculum. And uh, there was a lot of difficulty. President <laughs> Chandra Kaujilgi, everybody will know about it. Vatsala was the dean, and she told me, don't worry, we'll manage it. <laughs> <laughs> and she worked uh, a lot behind the scenes. I think Prasant Chandra, Shamal Roy, various other people. And uh, we could get the revision curriculum approved by the faculty council. Because at that time in IMB, uh, the sectors and the general management were two very, very difficult uh, constituencies to be managed. <laughs> What was acceptable to one was not acceptable to the other. And I'm really grateful to Watsala for having managed that uh, quite a lot behind the scenes, like what you said about the <laughs> customs. <laughs> Thank you. I think uh, many of the younger batches you know, will not know. Uh, IMB was not such an illustrious institution uh, in those days. Um, there was a ranking that had come, you know, where we were behind, you know, basically four or five management in institutes. And in those days, we didn't have thousands of management institutes. Uh, you know, I must say that, you know, a lot of us feel that you are the reason which uh, led to the turnaround and which has taken, you know, the institute to what it is. So thank you uh, very much. When I joined IMB in 1977, the first faculty that, that I met was Professor Vasila Nagarajan. She welcomed me very warmly and put me to ease. I felt as if I was at home. Thank you, Professor Vasila Nagarajan, for those kind words. On many occasions, I found her busy with students in the office. I always used to wonder whether they are 
troubled by the intricacies of accounting or attracted by the charm of her personality. Even to this day, I have not been able to figure out. <laughs> I leave all of I leave it to your imagination. Thank you. Uh, Radhika from uh, Batch of 1981. Madam, I'm very, very happy to meet you. Come back. Yeah, I'm back to Bangalore after about 30 years, and I'm really so thrilled to see you. Uh, I remember when I first joined from engineering, it was such a sea change when we saw our finance. And but you were uh, between yourself and Professor Rajaraman, all of you were so kind and uh, at the same time so firm. So I have always kept you people as role models. And when I teach all my unruly classes and all that, I keep thinking about you people. And I also have been teaching in the same way, trying to follow in your footsteps. Thank you so much, I think, for uh, being a role model, I would say for uh, myself and all the people whom I have been uh, training and leading. Thank you very much, madam. Wish you health and happiness. It's indeed a great day today. And for me, uh, Professor Vatsala, I have not met her before, but I have heard about her so much, and so much so that whenever I meet an alumni, they always ask me first question, what do you teach? So I tell them I teach financial accounting. So the next question is, oh, we all have learned accounting from Professor Vatsala. And it doesn't stop there. It goes next step saying, oh, you also look like Vatsala. <laughs> and but today I realize that uh, you know, she is far, far, you know, where she is today is you know, something, even if I can attain 10% of that, it would be really great honor for us. And thank you, ma'am, for being here. And we also have some students. I said we should meet such faculty and be uh, inspired uh, by you. Uh, thank you so much for coming here. And uh, God bless you. Now for the, the most important event of the evening, Professor Vatsala. How does one respond to such affection from this many people? Except to say a big thank you. I really don't know what else to say. And I had said this before. It's only a teacher who would have this many students to be proud of. Such a good professionals with good hearts, too. When I walked in today, it brought all the 18 years of my life back. I spent 18 years in IAM. All my directors, from N.S. Ramaswamy, Krishna Swami, Professor Sulam, Professor <coughs> Murthy, have had a hand in making me, I think they believed in me much more than I believed in myself. They gave me the self-confidence not that I was lacking self-confidence, but to know that somebody else trusts you, depends on you, makes you come out with better things than what you are really capable of. I can't thank them enough. And all my faculty colleagues have all added a facet to my life, whether Narayan Swami, or Ranganathan, or Vaidyanathan, or any Bhopalan, all the, prof as I said, people whom I moved with are not here today, but all they had bestowed on me is what probably makes me what I am today. And uh, a large amount goes to the students also. IAM gave me a caliber of students where the teachers don't have to struggle very hard to make them successful professionals. The material was there. All you had to do was to be there for them. 
very nice things have been said about me. Halfway, I was wondering whether they were talking about somebody else or uh, <laughs> talking about me. It makes one feel good about having spent that many years. Even now, at the ashram, I am at the learning end. My teachers are from four-year-olds to 16-year-olds. When one of them will come and ask me, and do you know Kannada alphabets? So I said, no, I don't. She said, every day, 4 o'clock, I'll come and teach you alphabets. So I said, good, I'll be ready to receive classes. Then somebody else said, do you know arithmetic? I said, no, I don't. So she said, after class is over, I'll come and teach you how to count to one plus one. I said, I'll be ready by the time. Wherever you look, there are always uh, good teachers to teach you. I am fortunate whether I am an IAM or at the ashram, I am surrounded by good teachers. And these kids are also kids who believe in me. So, sir, I must say, they still think um, I can do something. So there is somebody to follow up on the building up of confidence in Vatsala. And this must be a big project on, you know. Let's build uh, Vatsala Nagarajan's confidence. Why is he looking very helpless? Though he said, uh, I look like a criminal in front of the customs people, uh, there must be something that everybody wants to take me in hand and build me up. I must tell all of them that they have been successful. I am still learning. And a big thank you for all the people to make my day today a special one. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Vatsala Nayarajan, for your very kind words. Uh, may I request Partha to take over the word of thanks and to the closing honors. Thanks, Professor Kumar. Before I, we get into the vote of thanks, I thought I must take this opportunity to share my own experience with uh, Professor Vatsala, very personal one. I actually joined in 92. I belong to the 92-94 batch. And Professor Vatsala, perhaps that was the last batch that you actually took any course before your retirement because she retired in October 92. So she took not the whole course of corporate finance, but she had taken a couple of lectures. I wish you had taken the whole course. Uh, but what is interesting is I had met Professor Vatsala before I even joined. During those times, you, if you had two years of experience, you could apply for a FPM. So I had applied for FPM to hedge myself and a PGP2. And I was called for an interview for FPM. And my, uh, the people who took my interviews were Professor Vatsala Nagarajan and Professor Vaidyanathan. OK, two stalwarts. What is interesting is, you know, when you Think about FPM, the first thing that comes to your mind is a very serious business. I mean, you, you require rigor. So one would expect you to know something about finance, number one, and would, would expect you to know something about what area you wish to specialize in. I knew neither, right? So to her credit and to the panelist's credit, I was selected for whatever reason. My lesson out of that short experience, when I go back, when I, you know, as I grew older, I started reflecting and asking myself, what would have made someone to select a guy who has absolutely no exposure to finance? This is a high-risk game. Why should we even say, looking at this guy? My, the meaning that, that I read into that experience was simply this. Functional skills will only take you that far. What is probably more important is attitude, right? Attitude and potential. So for me, whenever I'm in a position to interview people or make a judgment, I step back and ask myself, can you go beyond the functional skills? Does that person have potential? For me, ma'am, that was one of my 
the meanings that I read into that experience. Another memory that I have of Professor Vatsi, same room. She would come in that lovely white sari with PT shoes. You know, with PT shoes. It's, it's a wonderful memory that I have. And today, when I look at the kind of sentiments that have been expressed by everyone, something that comes to my mind is pretty simple. And I'd like to encapsulate it in a phrase. People don't remember you for what you have said or what you have done. They remember you for how they made you feel. It's not just about functional skills. It's not about how good you are as a teacher. What accompanies that knowledge transfer is the emotions. And here, when I stand out here and hear all of you and a lot of them who shared through the video, that's the, that's the persona that I, I can encapsulate probably if I have to you know, in a sentence. Thank you, ma'am, for everything. And, when, and, uh, and, and quickly, when I look around me, the kind of violence that you have in the world, we need more vatsis with love, compassion, and empathy. All right? And, and those are the qualities we need to inculcate in us and so that we can spread love as teachers, as people. And that's a lesson for me. We, we need more of vatsis in the world. Thank you so much. And we seek your blessings for a peaceful world. Thank you so much. I'll be failing in my duty. There is one person whom I will remember all the time is Mira's mother who fed me every day lunch for all the 18 years and uh, her memory her face came to me when I walked down I almost said let's go to Mira's house and have lunch that is something which I have enjoyed so much of love if you say compassion love I can't think of anybody else who passed it on to me through her. Thanks, Thank you, Professor. Now, uh, we go to the last section of today's event. We have had a wonderful, memorable, momentous, short event today. There are a lot of people that I need to, we need to thank to, for having helped us made this event happen. And uh, first and foremost is, I, I must quickly, Rahul has already narrated, has given some kind of a background to this event. Rahul had come with this thought that let's do something for our teachers. And he said, this is what I'd, I'd like to do. We were absolutely thrilled. We thought, lovely idea. But then we were stuck. We said, that's all fine. But would Professor Vatsala be OK to it? to have a, a room named after her. We were very reluctant. And we thought, let's give it a shot. And in all fairness, Rahul's persuasion skills and the wisdom of Professor Vatsala made this event actually happen. So I believe uh, Rahul had to, when we first went and approached her, she said, look, in a characteristically you know, modest, humble way, she said, look, there are a lot of people who are more competent were much better than I am. Why me? And then slowly Rahul had to work his magic on her and let her know that, look, this is one way of giving back to an institute where you've spent some of the best years of your life. And then somehow the wisdom dawned and she said, okay, let's do it. So thank you, Rahul. Thank you, Professor Vatsala. You're the first two people I'd like to thank to have helped us make this event happen. Thank you so much. <laughs> Number two, the PGP class of 1992. Wonderful set of people. Yeah? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm last one. Yeah, I remember. I'm sorry. Yeah. So the next is the PGP class of 1992. Wonderful set of people. I've been, uh, I've been interacting with many of them. And uh, Anu gave a very quick recap of the, 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 uh, uh, sentiments behind joining us in this particular, you know, uh, session. Earlier, the plan was they had the 50th, 25th year reunion. They wanted to raise funds for a classroom that was supposed to be named after their batch. Once they came to know that we have initiated something in Professor Vatsi's name, as she said, it just took them minutes. It just took them minutes to say, hey, we are on 
on it. And I should be thankful to the batch, very sporting one. Please give them a big uh, a round of applause. And, uh, and, and specifically, specifically, I would like to thank Anu. We had a core team of Spock, the points of contact for the batch, who had to push this through. Anu Narsimhan, Subhash Dar, and Sanjay Gupta is here. And uh, yeah, so all of them uh, for, for their time and effort to, uh, to have helped this, you know, make this happen. And uh, next person I'd like to thank is uh, the two people, wonderful people from the 91 batch. 91 batch, Prashant Jain, we already heard him speak. And then Ashish Parthasarathy from the 89 batch without whose support, unconditional support. When they heard this, they said, hey, we are on board. That's, and the best part was we had a t target. We had set a target uh, in terms of you know, what we can raise in terms of funds. And they said, if there is any shortfall, just ping us, and we will help you bridge the shortfall. And that's the kind of spirit that they displayed. Please give them a big round of applause. <laughs> there are a host of alums I'd like to personally thank. Vetri Subramaniam. PGP 92, N. Raghunandan, PGP 86, Sanjay Bhargav, PGP 79, Bringi Dev, PGP 78, Shubho Bandhopadhyay, PGP 93, Preeti Shukla, PGP 94, and Mohan Adhyam, EGMP 2014, for their generous contributions to this course. I also take this opportunity to thank the Alumni and Development Office team, I can't miss them, right? So we came in, the Chief Development Officer. He also belongs to the 82 batch. Rohani, Sushma, and Ankita, dedicated, highly energetic alumni team. Head of Communications, Kavita Kumar. Kavita is here, OK. The CAO, Colonel Ragbir Singh, and his team. The Dean, Professor K. Kumar, and Professor Ragram, I can't miss both of you. Yeah, I, I would like to thank all of you. Mallika Badrinath from the, uh, who you know, made this booklet. Short notice, she made it happen. Special thanks to Krishnamurti Subramaniam uh, for having helped us put this thing together. He helped us reach out to the immediate family of Professor Vatsala Nagarajan. We actually were trying to dig out photos. And they said, hey, Vatsi retired 30 years back. We don't seem to have much of data. We didn't have computers then. And then we reached out to your children through uh, Krishnamurti Subramaniam, and it was wonderful. Thank you so much for helping us, you know, get put the whole things together. And many thanks to your family members who connived to make this a surprise for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nagarajan uncle also. Yes. You, you want to speak? Yeah. out. I don't know what to say because I'm already pro. I have to spit out. Oh, cheers, cheers, cheers. Not more than not more than two minutes. I just want to share with you all. I, I've been. Okay. I've, I'm already proud of my wife. I felt much more proud on hearing so much so much of encomiums affectionate respect uh, respectful affection for her but one thing i want to bring to the notice nobody has mentioned it not that it must be mentioned but i feel so she retired 30 september 1992 first october was her birthday one year is okay. W one year after one year, from uh, late '93, she is suffering from cancer. She has had three different types of cancer or different locations of the body. One I involved surgery and the radiation treatment. There's something went wrong with the radiation dosage or something. The so one right leg has gone much bigger than the left leg. It's left foot makes her walk not very steadily with, with her. All I want is to request all of you, in addition to the 
respectful affection or affectionate respect you have shown to her. Please reserve some time in your prayers if you do to let, let, let not to let her suffer any more from cancer. Let her have, have had, she has had enough of pain, enough of suffering. Uh, we have got two sons. One of them is here, Dr. Srikant. He came this morning, about 10, 30, 11 a.m. without telling us. It's a big surprise. Our second son, Arun, he lives in Nashua, New Hampshire, which is north of Boston, north or northeast, whatever. Second son, Arun, he lives in the suburb of Chicago. I believe he wanted to come, but for something happened, he could not make it. All I want is to request you to pray whenever you go to your temple or at home. Pray for her not to suffer mu much more. She has had enough of suffering. Thank you. Thank you, Nagarajan uncle. Thank you so much for sharing your sentiments. I had now called upon the director, Professor Dagaram, to hand over mementos to the contributors, without whose support this would not have been possible. Professor Dagaram. I had request Anu and uh, the batch of 92 representatives to come over and uh, collect the memento on behalf of the batch. A PGP class of 1992, please. Yeah. Yeah, this side, Yeah. Thank you, batch of 92. I would now request Rahul Shukla, PGP 1991. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Rahul. Yeah, yeah. I now request Prashant Jain, PGP 91, to come over. The same, the same. Uh -huh. Ashish, Ashish Parthasarthi, PGP 1989. Incidentally, Rahul, Prashant, and Ashish belong to the same cohort of companies, HDFC Bank. <laughs> yeah, please give them a big hand. Thank you, Ashish. Ashish, Rahul, and uh, Prashant have come down from Mumbai. Today being a working day, weekday, if they made time to come. Thank you all. Uh, Vetri Subramaniam, 92. Would you like to, please? Yeah, why they can do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that will be wonderful. Careful. No, no, no. He, he'll. Raghunandan, 1986 batch, PGP, 
if he's not there, we'll have to deliver it, get it delivered later. Uh, we have a memento for Sanjay Bargar, PGP 79 batch. Bringi Dev, request you to please come over. <laughs> Bringi Dev belongs to the PGP 1978 batch and is also a professor. He teaches out here as a faculty. Yeah, batchmate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Batchmate. Right, Madras. Preeti Shukla. Uh, Rahul requests you to collect it on her behalf. Preeti Shukla is my batchmate and Rahul's sister. <laughs> Rahul, being a good marketing guy, convinced his sister to contribute. <laughs> <laughs> Very deceptive finance guy, marketing guy, maybe. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Shubho Bandho Padhyay, PGP 93, I think he's not here. Mohan Adhyam, I don't think when he is out here. Okay, I think we are, uh, we are at the end of the program for today. Thank you all for, yeah, there's something that Vaidhi has. In the last one year for the class of 1992, Anudada Nasriman has been a major galvanizing force, giving us the most uh, blessed reunion, paying great attention to detail, raising uh, substantial sums for multiple good causes. And we'd like to hand this over as a small uh, token of gratitude with request uh, Professor Vatsala Nagarajan to hand it over to her. This is an image that has the image of all the members of the class of 1992.